Just like this fun video game. <laughs> Demons. Good transition, good transition. So I haven't played Book of Demons since it launched in early access, as you can see on this character. I got up to about the cook, which was all there really was, I think. Um, you could have replayed that content or whatever and done it multiple times. But so there's a lot of stuff to this game that I just don't remember. So what we're going to do, I have access to all three classes, but I'm just going to pick a warrior because it seems like the most vanilla normal class. So let's just go with it. Vigs, Vigstrker. A mighty adventurer that believes in brute power of steel. He is proficient in all kinds of weapons and armors and can sometimes spot a little madness. Uh, you can sometimes spot a little madness when he's charging a group of monsters. Okay, let's do it. Um, let's see, a balance of fun and challenge. Start here if you don't know what to choose. Cards drop in a random order that allows you to counter enemy abilities. Can be challenging during the main campaign. Um, you get to change mode to casual any time. First death leaderboard eligible. Cards drop in a random order. Combat mechanics are more forgiving and monsters are less vicious. Healing is easier, can get more challenging after completing the main campaign. Can get more challenging after completing the main campaign. Meanwhile, this is get challenged during, okay? You can change this mode to normal, no leaderboard. Okay, versus roguelike, totally random card drop. Without gold to resurrect, character permanently dies. The game mode can't be changed during the game. First death leaderboard, final death leaderboard. Okay. Let's just play normal, fuck it. So this, if I remember right, this game has like a card. It's an action RPG in that it's like isometric and is that really you? looks like an action RPG, but then so a lot of it is built around these card hands. Time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Same. Back then, it was peaceful. But now... The town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. <gasps> Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. Bummer. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. Okay. Golden key. Oh snap, it's Deckard Kane. Who brings hope to Stay a while. Heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know, <laughs> uh, but I beg you not okay. to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything Does that with the phrase mean anything here? Bishop. A walk in the park? has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. Uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. <gasps> okay, let's go. The cook. It's like a butcher type dude. Right? The bishop. Not discovered. And then, dude, that guy looks great. Oh, he's got a little rubber duck with a collar. I don't know about the collar part. Okay. Booker Demon is a mechanic to different other hack and slash games. If you're playing for the first time, pay attention to the tutorial so you don't have the best possible experience. Good luck un in the paper dun dunes. I am the sword that splits darkness. Ugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I can just hold the mouse button down. Now we're gaming. I have to hover over it if it's not apparent. Potion! Hmm. Let's see. Right clicking it or pressing the corresponding key. One. Wait, what does it say? You can. Uh... Oh, we don't need this health font. Yeah, I feel like this is like a weirdly cool game. I'm into Diablo. I'll be. And like hack and slashy things. Yeah. I can see that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. I can't hear you. There's too many sound effects happening. Dun, 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 dun. Level clear. Shit, it's a boss boy. Let's fight. Yeah. Oh, shit, we got phases. Use an AOE ability. Fist! Mighty blow. Stuns a target. Okay. Sick. When do I get cleave? Still somebody here. Oh, that's it. Did it. Got it. I'm a gamer. Michael Chan. Jeez. Set this, dude. Fuck yeah. Archive of Awesome. Research avatar was picked. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. You have unspent. Oh, this means they have new gossip. Well, fucking health points, right? HP points all the way. Oh my god, the game? Oh, Jesus. Flexiscope is now available. Looks like you can choose the size of you. Depending on your preferences, you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger games, regardless of how much time you have. Flexiscope ensures fair balance, threats and rewards, and the... Um, since Flexiscope learns your gameplay style, the time estimates for each subsequent session should be more accurate. Okay, let's just do medium. Oh my god, this is so much gameplay. Look at all the gameplay. Alright, let's do it. Fire attacks. Uh, use fire attacks to shoot. Okay. Oh. Damage your shield by clicking the shield icon. Oh. 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 I thought I would just break it. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even think the archer or the uh, mage was in the game when I played it the first time. So. 
If I want a different experience, we could go for that. It's also roguelike mode. Which I'm sure I'll be great at. <laughs> Shield covers hearts lost in battle. Poison. I don't know what this I thing is like. That. Oh, I recovered one manas. Yeah. I guess I'm capped on potions. So you put it in the purple water. How are you missing? Ow. Conrad, the chop chop. Yeah, okay, Conrad, the chop chop. Let's just kite it. Or let's not kite him. Whoa, more green. Oh god, it's not paused. Okay, so I guess the green is allocated mana. Yeah. Okay. Did I miss something? Hmm. Grants a target against an additional opponent. No, wait, this was it. I can press a lot less than I have been pressing. Weird, I think I cleared it. There's a barrel somewhere. Oh, maybe the sparkly sparkles are pointing the way. You know, that would just make sense. Yeah. 
What? Oh, there was the gold. There's 13 gold left. Oh, right here. Wow. That's so troll. <laughs> Lost several levels up, but I'm way too proud to ask for directions. Now I'm dying. That was my bowl. Sorry. I panicked. Because I was dying. Hmm, actually, I should have taken the. Uh, I don't have enough mana. How do I view my cards? I don't have enough mana to equip it. I get it. Yeah. Okay, that's the way down. Ow. Those door could be like, clicking on his shield is too hard. Because it's really not. I'm just mad lazy about it for some reason. Wow. The fuck? Hmm. Actually, kiting in this game is kind of annoying. Uh. Hey, how many life points is going to regen? Wait a minute. Third four, I should just use it. How stingy can I be? I don't know what that means. Hmm, now that I actually do have two green cards I want to put on. I could take more mana. I wouldn't mind more mana. Ugh. Turned into enemies, that's messed up. Right. He's kiting me. Shit. I 
I should be kiting him. Oh, bummer. I didn't think I was in that. Is actually not that bad because like there's not actually a lot of directions you can go. You either go forward or backwards. I don't know how apparent that is from watching me play. I kind of described it very briefly in the uh, tutorial menu. So basically, you're going backwards or forward on the track. Journey to mana points over time. Hmm. Seems good. If there's one thing I'm going to be annoying about, it's just that I don't like the kiting. really dangerous. One thing I don't know is if there's like some kind of ghost mechanic or something that's going to really force me to keep going forward. Should be good right here. Unless he goes backwards. Come on. Take this! I thought I died. Oh god. Chance to block incoming missiles? Uh. Sorry, you're gonna have to take a. Yeah, I want. I need to take more mana so I can equip. Like two more mana? And oh, yo, fire element. Nice. Ah, oh, I forgot that thing was there. ambush me. I wonder if I can WASD this game. Oh, I can't. What are this? Controller support. Nice. Few living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Should be. Warriors, men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old were buried there with troves of gold and gems. 
but the dead How do you bury are them with gold? Restless, quickened by some unholy powers, they are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. Ending their painful existence will be an act of mercy, if you ask me. Animated cadavers are capable of experiencing only the most base effect, hunger. Who can Flying imagine wild a less hog. meaningful existence? Their bodies are still decomposing, so oh it's God, recommended so many. to keep them at a distance as the gases they produce are of the deadliest kind. Fortunately, they also smell awful, which serves as a warning. Just like the stench of charlatanry emanating from the fortune teller's wagon. Wow. These creatures are made of stone, which makes them extremely Petite resilient gargoyle. elements. Fire, frost, or poison cannot harm them. Their abilities are fascinating. When harmed, they petrify and lie in slumber for thousands of years, slowly regenerating. All adventurers should be warned that statues may not be what they seem. Some scholars claim that gargoyles carry a trace of demonic blood, like that charlatan woman, although it's much more obvious in her case. Wow. Greetings, traveler. People call me the fortune teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, <clears throat> as I had to leave the royal capital. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe uh -huh. me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> uh. We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Next gossip. Cards are my specialty. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Wow. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with <laughs> my help at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Um, okay. been busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical now. stuff I'm talking about. Whoa. So there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic any time you want, but the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence. Okay. Been busy too while you were away. Hmm.
The moon rune. Hmm. You look like you could use a hot broth. Eat a lot of roughage. You will thank me later. All right. Fun. So that just makes me more tanky, so. Ah, so you came across a runic Gossip card. girl. You're wise to ask me about it. Let me explain. Cards like these have no inherent properties of their own, but professionals like myself can still use them to enhance other cards. Now, this kind of craft requires subtlety and caution. So whenever you find more of these, keep up that resolute attitude of yours and bring them straight to me. Don't bother talking to the sage about them. His methods are as wrong ancient as his jokes. Got him. Um, I'll just hang on to it. I don't... Know that I'm no, real. I can see your future is very grim. 